what is going on YouTube today we are back with another video and you you guys see what we have before us right here these there's not even a hint of white anywhere like they're, they're literally just brown now they're brown there's no white anywhere like maybe if you look underneath this all the way we might see a little bit of white but other than that, these are the worst looking zebras we've ever, ever had in here. And I've had some horrible zebras. This is the worst pair we had by far. And I'm actually going to grab a pair for comparison. So for comparison, here's another pair that came in here looking awful. And then look at these. Like, this is insane. So, like, these are going to require lots and lots of work. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make these as brand new as it possible as again. There's a lot of heel drag and all that stuff so they're not gonna come back perfect but i think we're gonna make these a nice comeback all right guys to begin cleaning up the yeezys i have made a bucket solution this bucket was for these so i'm using it for the yeezys as well it consists of dish detergent rejuvenator some distilled white vinegar and water just filled it up filled it up all the way to the top like this and i'm literally just dunking the shoes in there letting them soak around get wet all that good stuff. I'm gonna just let them sit in there for a little while actually. Just let it marinate and in like five minutes I'm gonna come back and then begin scrubbing them. All right, they've been soaking under there for longer than five minutes. I definitely did forget, but, but, it's all right. The longer the better. Let's pull them out now. And I'm not gonna lie. See, I wanna say they do look better even though they still look absolutely horrendous. But yeah, let's just go ahead and start scrubbing them. I'm also going to take out the insole. Look at the, look, look at the bottom of it. They did come to the front black. All right, anyways, let's start scrubbing them. All right, after scrubbing these for five years, I'm just going to use some cold water. I'm just completely rinse them out. And then we're going to go ahead and clean up the midsole and the outsole. All right, so I'm gonna be using a stiff texture brush with some rejuvenator and a little bit of dish detergent. And we're just gonna go ahead and start to clean up the midsole, well, the whole outsole, basically. All right, and to completely dry them, I'm gonna, well, not completely, but to dry them for now, I'm gonna use my microfiber cloth. Just go inside, dry all of it out. Squeeze the cloth out, of course, and just keep going, keep going. Make sure you get inside really good. Then I'm going to put them inside the ice box that are actually dry. All right, guys, now for the sole detailing, we still have some work to do on the uppers. But for the sole detailing, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to use some cotton rounds. Or Q-tips, actually. You can use Q-tips, cotton rounds. I use leather prepared to glazer, you can use acetone, nail polish, whatever you want to use. And I just go ahead and I just wipe along the sides, cleaning out all the dirt in between the grooves. See the dirt on the cotton round right there. And just clean the entire thing. Same thing with the bottoms, you can do that. Or you can use a Q-tip to go individually between the, like, the lines and stuff like that. You can also do that to clean up the boost, but the boost really does not get much cleaner. And that's just how it is. All right, guys, at this point, it's time to go ahead and whiten up the shoes. So I've gone ahead and completely soaked them. Make sure they're nice and white. And then we have some blue detergent here. So if you guys have been following for a while, you guys know what the detergent method is. If not, I'm going to show you right now. So basically, just take some detergent. And actually, I can just pour it on the shoes, really. Like you want a good amount and you want to just scrub it into the shoes now once you scrub it into the shoes you don't you don't rinse it out don't nothing scrub it out go ahead put it to dry underneath the sun or if you have an ice box like i have behind me put it in there under the uv light and just let it sit until the detergent dries all right now that i've completely scrubbed the uppers with the detergent i'm gonna go ahead Place the shoes inside of my ice box. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and leave it until it's all dried up. All right, guys, at this point, we've successfully done the detergent method. You guys can see all the stains have risen to the surface. Like literally, a lot of these stains weren't here, but they were deep down inside the material and they're risen to the surface. And that gives us easier access to just go ahead and just clean them all off. And that's pretty much the point of the detergent method to get the stains as deep, deep down and just scrub them out. So now, I'm just gonna use my medium texture brush and some cold water, warm water. I'm just gonna completely rinse out the shoes all the detergent is in there. Okay guys, so I did end up doing the detergent method on the Yeezys one more time. And then I ended up doing the tissue method. Basically what the tissue method is, is literally while the shoe is wet, you just place tissues on it and just let it dry. Literally just let it dry and then it'll absorb the dirt that's left over. And you guys can see like these are like super, super dry right now, crispy. And this right here is dirt stain. So this came up from the material and got soaked into the tissue. So that shows that it worked how it's supposed to work. All right, guys, now we are here for the icing portion of this video. This is gonna be tough because there's so much heel drag on these. So you'll see how much we actually can ice them up. So I'm gonna be using some CCK soul sauce. I think paintbrush. And we're just gonna go ahead and start applying now. It's really difficult applying soul soles to easy soles because they're literally so thick and then they have all these crevices on them. So it's like super, super difficult. But what I do is I just start from the back over here and I just go down just like that all around. And for the bottoms, I obviously just go straight through. So it's not as difficult, but it's definitely annoying with all the extra grooves in the sole. Ice rocks, I'm gonna leave them in here overnight and I'm gonna check on them and see how much progress has been made. Alright, guys, at this point, the Yeezys are completely finished. If you guys remember, these came in looking black. Like, these came in completely black. The soles were like piss yellow. Obviously, they didn't come back too much because of how worn they were and how yellow they were, but I would say this is a W restoration compared to how they were looking before easily can be said if you guys want this treatment done to your own sneakers dm me on instagram at Drace durations you have any questions or concerns comment or dm me and i'll answer always glad to help and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one